So in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. So I want to find the value of this problem. So for my solution, I'm going to start by rewriting my problem here. So 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18. And to start off, I'm going to rewrite 19 here as 18 plus 1. So I get 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 18. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 18 plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1. And now I have this minus 2 to the power of 18. Now from here, because I have two terms that are the same, I can factor out 2 to the power of 18. So I get 2 to the power of 18 times, well, 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is simply just 2 to the power of 1, and negative 2 to the power of 18 divided by 2 to the power of 18 is negative 1. So I get 2 to the power of 18 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times, well, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, so I get 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 18. So I get 2 to the power of 18 as my answer. Now, there is actually another method of solving this problem. So going back, our, originally pro our original problem was 2 to the power of 19 minus 2 to the power of 18, right? And what we did was we wrote 19 as 18 plus 1. And we solved it by factoring out 2 to the power of 18. So now, what if instead of rewriting 19, I rewrite 2 to the power of 18 as 2 to the power of 19 minus 1. Now, the way I'm going to solve this is I'm going to rewrite 19 minus 1 as 19 plus negative 1. Now, I can still use that property that states that if I have something from a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 19 plus negative 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1. So I can still do it. Now from here, my greatest common factor from these two terms is 2 to the power of 19. So I get 2 to the power of 19 times 1 minus 2 to the power of negative 1 which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 1 minus 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 1 half, which is equal to 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1. And 2 to the power of 19 times 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 18. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving a system of equations. So in my system of equations, I have two equations. My first is AB plus A is equal to 32. So this is going to be my first equation. And my second equation is going to be AB plus B is equal to 35. So to solve the system of equations, I have to find the value of A and B. So to start out, what I'm going to do is subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So equation 1 minus equation 2. Equation 1 is a plus, AB plus A equals 32. So I have AB plus A minus 
a b plus b is equal to 32 minus 35. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is distribute the negative sign. So now I get a b plus a minus a b minus b is equal to 32 minus 5, which is equal to negative 3. Now I can cancel out a b and negative a b. So I'm left with a minus b is equal to negative 3. And this means that a is equal to b minus 3. So now what I can do is substitute this value of a into equation number 2. So equation number 2 is ab plus b equals 35, right? Well, now that I've got a value of a in correlation to the value of b, I can plug this in. So now I get b minus 3 times b plus b is equal to 35. And now my only variable in this equation is b. So we can solve this. What I'm first going to do is distribute the b. b times b is b squared, and b times negative 3 is negative 3b. And now I have this plus b, which is equal to 35. And negative 3b plus b is equal to negative 2b. And if I subtract 35 on both sides, I get b squared minus 2b minus 35 is equal to 0. Now from here, what I'm going to do is actually add this back because we did miss a step. So b squared minus 2b is equal to 35 once again. Actually, before doing that, what I'm going to do is add 1 on both sides. So now I have b squared minus 2b plus 1 is equal to 36. And now the reason I did that <coughs> is because b squared minus 2b plus 1 is the same thing as b minus 1 squared. And now I can take the square root on both sides because the square root of 36 is a whole number. And now I get b minus 1 is equal to positive or negative 6. So this gives me two equations. I get b minus 1 is equal to positive 6. And b minus 1 is equal to negative 6. So for b minus 1 equals positive 6, I can just add 1 on both sides. And I get b equals 7. And for b minus 1 equals negative 6, I can again add 1 on both sides, and I get b equals negative 5. So now from here, I have to plug this back in to this equation right here, a, b plus b equals 35. So if b equals 7, I get 7a plus 7 is equal to 35, meaning 7a is equal to 28, and a equals 4. So if a equals 4, then b equals 7. This is one solution to my system equations. And now if b equals negative 5, I get negative 5a minus 5 is equal to 35, meaning negative 5a is equal to 40, and a equals negative 8. So if b equals negative 5, then a equals negative 8. So these are my two solutions.